And it teaches you reading and it teaches you how to finesse and actually how to play the drum instead of just beating on the drum. No, it gives you It helps you be a musician, right. more, more likely. You don't want to, the stereotype is, if you play drums, people look at you as a drummer. No, you're a musician, you're a percussionist. So drummers, they just beat on the drum. Don't care what they sound like, don't care how loud they play, they just beating on it. But if you want to be a percussionist, you got to have some kind of finesse about what you're doing and just relax and take those same beats suggest doing like 16 notes in a hand start at 90 BPMs on a metronome 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3 working on those small muscles, now I'm using finger, if you notice I'm using finger now I'm not using a lot of wrist I'm not using a lot of arm it's all finger, you can see it from the side, got that air pocket there, I'm not allowing the back part of the stick Hit contact this part of my hand that slows you down, your velocity you want to keep it nice and open, maintain that air pocket. And listen to your sound quality. I go your singles, doubles. Now I'm losing a little wrist and arm. Paradiddles, paradiddle diddles. Left hand, puddles. Six stroke roll. And you have your balls. Always think music when you're playing music. It's all about hills and valleys, not always on one line. So you have crescendos and then day crescendos. So always think as a, like a musician, like a piano player or a horn player. You you can be that same type of have that same type of attitude when you're playing percussion as well. But some people, like I said, they don't think that way. They just bang it on a drum, and most people. Just like to call us drummers, but we're really not just drummers, we're percussionists, if you think of it that way. <laughs>